Hai, saya Cipai dari KRA Show Online. Hari ini episod kita sedikit istimewa. Tapi anda kembali di rancangan The Kasut Show. Oi, got echo tu tadi ah. Tu dia sound tu. So, okey. Hari ini kita dekat set baru. Mahal kita orang bayar sewa set ni. And kita ada special guest today. Mm-hmm. Why not you just introduce yourself? Hi guys, my name is Aaron Lee. Uh, glad to be here on the Kasut Show. So, okay, Aaron, uh, hari ini kita buat apa? Apa yang kita nak discuss? Uh, hari ini kita nak cakap tentang top 5 sneaker saya. Yes, so kita jemput Aaron from Penang. Aaron, you memang duduk Penang. Batu Earth ke The Island? Batu Earth. Batu Earth. Yeah. Shout out Batu Earth. So, kita invite Aaron to Kasut Show today untuk discuss dia punya 5 Kasut uh, top 5 dia lah. Favorites ke, yeah. ada meaning kat dia, ada okay. story behind it. Okay. So, apa kata kita biar Aaron yang Describe kasut dia. So Aaron, first two. What do you want to give us? Okay, kasut pertama. Ultra Boost OG. So yes. ini the re-release or the the ones yang initially release? This is the off uh, the very first release. Okay. Nah, kasut pertama. Um, you boleh lihat lah kat samping sini. Dah kotor. Bitter lah. Ha. Bitter, bitter gila ni. Ah, so uh, masa dia first release kan, Adidas Malaysia release kasut ni 650, 680 lah. Back in 2016, 17? 15 lah. 15? Yeah, I think. Okay, okay, somewhere 15. around there lah. Yeah, okay. So Aaron, kenapa kasut ni you pilih sebagai you punya? Ini the best or the, the no random uh, random order lah? Okay, I speak English lah. Boleh, Boleh kan? So kasut the, show lah. The, <laughs> the reason why I pick this shoe is because I think um, until now, right, uh, in terms of comfort and looks, right, I think Adidas has everyone beat on this lah. Because as a runner, I think it's, it's very it's very sleek. First of all, the shape, mm-hmm. uh, it holds your foot very well because of the ankle support, right. the padding here. And like I said, comfort-wise, the boost is really good. Like you can take it uh, to the gym for running, and it's going to serve you very well. Right. Uh, after that, you know, after the gym and all that, it still looks good on feet, so you can still wear it with a pair of jeans, pants, right. and yeah, I think this is going to be a legendary pair. I mean, in the next like 20, 30 years, it's going to be, it's going to achieve real status. Lah. So, I think Adidas did really well with this shoe. Unfortunately, the technology doesn't belong to them. Yep. That's the only problem, but this shoe is still going to go down in history as one of the best Adidas shoes ever made. So, have you tried the 19 and 20 punya rendition? No, I have not. I have, I did. Tapi, I dah try. I rasa ni pun still the best in terms of Comfort wise mm-hmm. and look wise ada punya silhouette apa semua. I rasa yang ni memang you can pair with the pair of denim. So you boleh pakai chino, you boleh pakai lari. Right, so right. this is your first shoe. How about your second pair? Alright. Second pair, I'm going to go right, with... Just put it on the table. Alright. Ah. Second pair, I'm going to go with uh, this really old pair oh. from the early, well, old early 2000s. Old and expensive. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Um, okay, so the reason why I really like this shoe is because... Um, of By the way, uh, first of all, what, what is this? Oh, uh. This is uh, Nike Blazer X Supreme. SB. Yeah. Yep. I'm oh, sorry, Nike SB. Yeah, correct. So, um, this was released back, in, I think, in 2006 or 7. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I really like this shoe, right, is Super the quality expensive. of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 not this one expensive. expensive sure? No, yeah, it is expensive now, lah, but... I mean, you just look at the quality of the leather on this pair. Right. I mean, like, just, just touch it. Like, it's, Crazy, yeah. I think it's one of the best quilted leather shoes out there. You know, uh, it rivals even like high-end sneakers to me. Right, because uh, pada semua yang tak tahu, dia inspire kasut ni daripada uh, Gucci, Gucci punya. Yeah, yeah. So, tengok the back here. Color dia, mm-hmm. and then dia punya, the, more on the luxury brand punya ni, ada punya right. inspiration. Correct, correct, correct. And I still, I think I still kept it pretty well for a used pair because you can see the gold swoosh is still there. Right. Yeah. So, I'm. This is a pair I don't think I'll let go lah ever. Okay. Uh, wait. Knowing, but, knowing that today's market, mm. right? SBs are going crazy lah. How, yeah. What do you think about that? Nike like SBs going crazy. I uh, think, especially the dunks are like chunky, dunky going for six plus. Yeah, that's crazy. Travis is going yeah, for six that's plus. That's crazy. I, th- I think every few years, right, there will be a trend. Okay. Okay. And so, like, I think, like, from consumer's point of view, right, if you really like the shoe, then, yeah, maybe you go for it. 
Yeah, but I think it's for my. Is it hard driven? Someone from the hip hop. Travis, area? Travis yeah. Scott, for example. Yeah, he's he's really hyped it up. Right. You know, and the Olympics was supposed to be like this year, right? Okay. And apparently, I think the Olympics was supposed to hold the first ever skating. Event skateboarding ever. event. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So like, it didn't happen, but still the hype for SBs are there, lah. Okay. And I think like I said, like if you really like. Nike SBs in general, then yeah, go for it. Otherwise, don't fall for the hype. Right. If you really like it, go for it. If you think it looks good on your feet, go for it. Otherwise, don't please don't fall for the hype. Right. Don't buy it into the insane prices. But I have to say one thing about this shoe. It looks nice. I think it looks nice. But in terms of comfort, right, it's not there. I can't wear this the whole day. I can wear it half a day at most. Because the sole here is really keras. Very, very Just pack it to break necks. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> pakai pakai pergi shopping mall break next balik tukar kasut dalam kereta. I mean it is really red right? right. Good for Chinese New Year lah. Ah okay 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 very on. <laughs> Shout out Eden Ong. Okay, next pair. Okay, next pair I have is a more recent pair. It's the uh, Brain Dead Converse Chuck 70s. Oh okay. Yeah, so, it's, it's still DS by the way. I have not worn this. Different panels, different yep. designs ah. Huh? Yep. Crazy. So let me just hold one. Yep. So if you can see kurang semua tengok ni ada uh, macam US ni uh, flag, flag. Yeah. ni uh, cheetah print yep. zebra print and camo. and camo so four different panels for different designs correct so okay Aaron even the back there's a little bit of design variation yeah and then there's a rubber logo of Brainnet yep on both pairs yeah okay I mean uh, why this pair Aaron? why I like this pair because it's it, it's like a what the what the converse are? Yeah, what, what the, the chucks? Yeah, you know, right. it's it's something where I think it was it's like in, initial impression impressions to me when I first saw it, right? Is that my god, this shoe is hideous. To be honest, too I loud think, la. Uh, I thought it was like, oh my god, it's too loud. Then actually after I saw Brian wearing it, then I'm like, eh, actually it looks okay. Leh. Shut up, Brian Chin. <laughs> he he I mean like he he, he when he wore it, I saw it, I was like, oh. Okay, I re now I regret buying it because I regret not buying it okay. because at the time it released uh, the Vans NASA pair came out as well and so then I bought that, that. I chose that okay. and then I was like oh my god why did they do that <laughs> then, okay, did you bought it uh, on resale or retail unfortunately resale ah uh, but jago tak lari banyak berapa banyak visa it was quite big. Oh, quite okay. big different. Yeah. But as long as benda tu buat you happy, why not? Yeah. So, so okay. I mean, I really like it. Uh, I think Converse's are uh, one of the best shoes to wear casually. But in any outfit. Same like Nike, the mm. the blazers. Uh, I don't think you can wear it all day, lah. If you if you oh, want Converse. to, that's okay. But uh, no, no. I, I I actually think the Chuck 70s are actually a lot more comfortable than normal All Star Converse's. Okay. Because I think there's a, like a little bit more of a cushioning here. Right. I can actually feel like where, oh, and, the insoles are also nicer. That, and actually for for those who don't know, dulu diorang memang pakai untuk ball. They played for basketball. Nah, memang, correct, 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 actually, correct, correct. is a like performance shoes back then lah. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, tapi okay lah. Buat the bags in the 50s, 60s, uh, 60s memang lah. Dia punya teknologi macam ni ya. True, true, ah. true. Because I'm, I mean, I always started out with basketball shoes lah. So even the even the blazers used to be a basketball shoe as well. Yep. And then this is yeah used to be a basketball shoe as well. Uh, okay. Okay. So next pair. Next one is a runner. Okay. It's more of a runner. It's, a, it's the A6 uh, collab with A6 Gelite 3 collab with Mita uh, for Hello, the 25th Mita. anniversary. So, I the reason why I like this shoe is actually the colour scheme and the detailing on it. Mm -hmm. uh, like you see the bottom has the Far East words here. It's a, my outsole is a bit yellow now because okay. I've worn this shoe before. It's a little bit dirty as well. So, I really like the colour scheme on this shoe. Anything with red, white and blue, I, I suka lah. So, okay, dalam ni ada Mita sneakers uh, punya logo and then uh, the fans design, which is uh, in the Mita store itself, mm -hmm. the way they display the shoes is they gantong it on betul. the fans. Betul, ah. betul, so betul, that's why betul. kebanyakan Mita punya collab, they akan ada try to incorporate the, the wire fans. Yeah, ah. correct. And then that's what they put in the insole. Uh, okay. If you notice, right, as a collector, right, I like to put a cellophane tape over there. Yeah, so the reason... it retains the... Yeah. <laughs> so you know when you wear your shoes, right, yep. the, 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 the print doesn't come out. Right. Yeah. So last pair, Aaron. Last I think pair is it's the most expensive pair now yeah. because of 
one documentary <laughs> right that Thanks. recently released on Netflix yeah. which is The Last Dance The Chicago AJ1 yeah, so this What year is this? 2015 Okay So um, okay the story of how I, I got these right because I've been looking for this pair for like the longest time and um, one of my friends back from college he knows that I've been looking for it so he said okay you know what I finally found a good deal for you I'm going to um, I'm gonna hook you up with a friend. Then I said, okay, so what? How much is this? your friend asking? And at that point in time, I was selling my Timberland Supreme MacBook with CDG. He said, okay, I will just trade the shoe for that for that pair. So I was like, what? Really? <laughs> okay, straight up, do it. Let's do it. And my pair was DS and DS was used, but I didn't mind. So yeah. Right. I think even this one uh, pair is going. For like six to eight k at the moment, now, yeah. At the moment, yeah, yeah because ah, yeah. uh, kalau kurang tengok Netflix, check out the last dance. Dia cerita pasal the last ah uh, three pick with MJ back yeah. in 9798. Aku bukan Jordan fan, tapi bila aku tengok benda tu aku rasa nak ada Jordan. Oh. That's how impactful he is. Right. So ah, uh, the reason why the Chicago colorway is much more expensive now is because in the document yeah. dia pakai masa games the versus the Knicks yeah. uh, in MSG for his last game mm. in MSG he rocked this and then collectors go ape shit on that yeah and I and don't the know the right. is 5 figures now uh. correct correct I mean look at the shape right? hey. I like the shape it's, no, I, the funny thing is I didn't like the Air Jordan once to be with but then when my Air Force once started to really get soft at the, at the midsole mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I need to find a replacement for, for Air Force One so that's why I went for Air Jordan Ones and some people say it's not comfortable but I find it like, I can wear this whole entire day, no problem With these five pairs, right? I know that you're a huge Adidas fan so why yes. there like equities or superstars? I, I I did that I think I did that on your live show before right? but but uh, I mean next time if I see you again I can bring on my Adidas. Sure. Yeah, because I like I like the uh, I like the special line I like the EQT line I like the boost. I, I think I like quite a lot of uh, Adidas shoes, yeah. uh, including the uh, the Adidas skating shoes. But you like a lot of shoes, ah? Uh? I do. I do. And I do. you even wear Solomon's? Yeah. Ah, uh, to the set then focus on the slipper. Okay. So uh, with that, I think uh, we covered pretty much everything about the shoes. Right. Uh, anyway, thank you, Aaron, about uh, spending time with us, uh, telling stories about your shoes. Yeah, thank, thanks for having me here. Yeah, so great. guys, if you want to check out Aaron's collection or his daily whatevers, just check out his Instagram here. And then, uh, Aaron, any last words? Uh, well, once again, thanks for having me here. and. Um, if you guys are into sneakers or you just started, I just want to say keep it real to yourself and to everyone else around you because you know, um, you shouldn't fall into the hype. Just buy what you like. Right. Beli dulu menyesal kemudian. If that's what I always say. <laughs> that's your advice. Uh, that's my advice. Beli dulu menyesal kemudian. Yeah. And with that, uh, please do like, subscribe and share our contents in Instagram, YouTube and Facebook. Saya cipta di Kira Online. And I'm Aaron, and we're both signing out. Thank you. Peace out. Ciao. Bye.